What's up, Divine Feminine? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Karmic Circuit. Where we expose all these karmic ass clowns. Now, before you get into the show, if you want to get into the show, Divine Feminine, I need you to hit that thumbs up button for me. That's your way to purchase a ticket to get into the show. And I need you to hit the subscribe button. And on your way out, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when these clowns, dumbasses, is back in your country, in your city, in your state, in your neighborhood, in your town, wherever. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Okay? Some of y'all is not hitting the notification bell. And I thank you all for the likes, shares, and the subscribes to my channel. You're helping my channel grow quickly. I thank you. I'm at 1,127 subscribers. And I thank you for all of that. Okay? And if you're interested in a personal reading, um, you can email me at pinkscorpionintuitive at gmail.com. I will put the information to my um, email in the description box. That's if you're interested in a personal reading to find out personally what your clown is up to. Okay? So, uh, collective. The overall energy is... This is an X that you stop wasting your time on. Now, if you if, 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 if this is somebody they trying to come back to you and you stop wasting your time on, keep it pushing. Okay? Keep it pushing. I'm going to just pull random cards. Okay? Keep it pushing. Oh, because you're both longing for each other. Oh. Reunion, recovery, and reconcile. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So this is somebody that you stopped wasting your time on. Now you're longing for this person. You kind of want to reunite with this person. You kind of want to recover the relationship, reconcile with them. Hmm, divine feminine. Maybe we need to refresh your memory a little bit on why this clown is your ex. Hmm, Divine Feminine. Okay, Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. You could be dealing with the air sign of Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius, or Divine Feminine. You could be an air sign. I'm just going to take half of this deck. Now... Holy Spirit, show me, show Gemini why they stop wasting their time on this X. Why did Gemini stop wasting time on this X? Why did Gemini stop wasting time on this X? Why did Gemini stop wasting time? I mean, not Gemini. See, maybe you are Gemini, but uh, that's what it said here. So some of you are Geminis. air signs. Some of you are air signs. Okay, so you stop wasting your time on this person because they was, they was, uh, they paid a practitioner went to a witch doctor paid somebody to do some spell work for you and watching and waiting for the results. And this is why you're longing for them. He's a clown. He's trying to get you in that tent. So he paid a practitioner for you to reunite with him, for you to recover the relationship, for you to reconcile with him. And remember, this is an ex that you stop wasting your time on. They're doing some sort of magic manipulation. They got this practitioner to do some sort of mind manipulating spell. Some sort of spell. Okay. Remember, I got to refresh your memory. Okay. Remind the collective, divine feminine, 
You may be a Gemini. Why did you leave this person? The grass wasn't greener on the other side. So this is why they want to reunite with you. Because whoever they left you for, or whatever they left you for, it ain't working out. So instead of them saying, basically they saying, well, I don't want to be by myself, so I'll just be back with the collector. That's what they're saying. I don't want to be by myself, so I'll be back with the collector. I'll go back to divine feminine because it's karmic, whoever I was with, it, it didn't work out, the grass wasn't greener, so I'll go back. Hell no. So they started paying a practitioner, or they've been paying a practitioner, so they can go out and do whatever the fuck they want to do and still come back to you. No, baby, you gotta you gotta learn to protect your energy from this bastard. You must get you an amethyst. Okay. And you must also get you a clear quartz crystal. You don't have to get the crystal ball, but you need to get a clear quartz. Okay? So you can clear so you will have clarity. This motherfucker is, is uh, the, the center, the heart of their energy is, you must remember, re, be reminded that they left you for somebody else. And they're only longing for you because that somebody else left them for somebody else. And you're only longing for them because they paid a practitioner to put some sort of spell on you. If you lived with this person, they could have got some of your hair out of a comb or a brush. Um, they could have, you know, got some of your hair while you were asleep, snipped a little bit while you were asleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me more. This is somebody that you threw in that tent right there. And they, they begging you to, to bring them out, collective. Don't 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 you let their ass out of there. Don't you let their ass out. Then you need to protect your energy because this person is trying to come back in your to enter your space while you taking full control of your life. Don't let them come back and do this to you. They're a karmic, remember? You tell this person to stop crying over spilled milk and kick the carton to the can and move the fuck on because you have. Okay? Don't let this person and their spell work get you. you. You need to know how to protect your crown shot. It's going to be hard to fuck over you. You've been there and done that. Okay? So some of you are protecting yourself. This person has a big pride, big ego, big spender. There's no marriage in the future with you and this person. You're not, you're, you shouldn't be longing for them. And this person is saying, I don't love them. I only use them to make you jealous. And it didn't work. Now I lost you. Yeah, now you look, you lost them. Now they lost you, I mean. And it's going to be hard to fuck over you because you know they went to some other grass. You know. Could have been your goddamn next door neighbor. Throw they ass in the, in the, in the tent. The grass was green, and wherever they went, it wasn't green. Their grass, they, they didn't water their grass over there. They never, you know, put no fertilizer on it or nothing to make it grow. It was just dead. Just dead grass. That's why they don't love them. See, Divine Feminine, your grass is nice and beautiful and green. Mm -hmm. Watered, cut, trimmed, all of that shit. You weed whack that shit. Uh, you edge it, all of that. Okay? And it could have been marriage in the future. And at one time, you could have thought you wanted to marry this person, but they left you for somebody. This person felt they, with their big old ego, they felt that they can walk away from you and go and be with somebody else and, you know, come back and, and, and you still be waiting. Divine Feminine say, I don't think so. Who the fuck you think I am? It's going to be hard to fuck over you because you've been there and done that. Don't allow them. Remember, this is an ex that you stopped wasting your time on. 
I don't care who, who they pay. Now that you know, if you feeling if you feeling some way about this person, if you if you are uh, longing for this person and you wondering why, that's because they motherfucking asked and pay somebody to do some spell work on you. They could have got if they lived with you, they could have got your hair, they could have got some of your underwear, you know, and took to this practitioner to put a spell on you. So you'll come back. They're saying, I want my collective back. I want my divine feminine back. They don't love the people that they went against for you. And see, they, they just want to rape your time. They just want to rape your time because they see you having fun in the sun, happiness and joy and stability and abundance and all of that. Now they long for you and you're not longing for them. They, they put a spell on you, okay? Because you walked away from the drama. And you're sitting on your throne looking great, and now this person is losing sleep. And they really don't have a reason to be mad at you. They should be mad at themselves for doing you that way. Mm -hmm. You didn't like their sex anyway, and now they're stalking you. That's why they had multiple partners, because when they went to, everybody they went to didn't like their sex. Everybody they went to didn't like their sex. Everybody they went to didn't like their sex. You didn't like their sex either. But you tolerated it. Maybe you taught them something. Maybe you taught them how to please you. you. Maybe you taught them what to do. Then when they went to somebody else, they still didn't know what the fuck to do. And the person they went to didn't know how to tell them what the fuck to do because that was a karmic energy too. So they don't have no reason. That's why they had so many multiple partners because they wasn't satisfying. People didn't call them back. It's looking like, <laughs> Oh, let me bust a bubble. They making you think that they got all these partners. They fuck these people one time, they don't want them no more. But in your head, to you, it looks like they got a lot of people. But you ain't got nothing to worry about because they are not satisfying these people. And these people are not calling them back. They ain't constantly, like if they haven't, they, if they had a relationship, but they ain't even had relationships. No, no, they not, mm -mm. they not having no, no, no callbacks. So this is why they longing for you, because you were the only one, you probably knew they shit wasn't, wasn't no good, or you could have been a virgin when you met this person. They could have took your virginity, so it's good to you, because they could have been the only person you've been with. But they didn't got with some other motherfuckers that know they can't fuck. So they said, well, I better go back to my divine family, because she ain't gave herself to nobody. Um, and I'm the only person who she been with, something like that type of energy. But you walked away from them, and maybe you done got some good dick now. If you don't want they ass, you done got some good ass dick. Mm -hmm. And like I said, they had all these multiple partners. It looked like they had multiple partners. They were one night stands that didn't call back because they shit was whack. And I'm going to stop right there. Throw their ass in that tent. Peace.